Hey guys, Apple has released the final public stable version of iOS 26. So, you can simply install it on your iPhones, but in which iPhones will you be able to install it? So, the iPhones compatible with iOS 26 are, iPhone 11 onwards, like entire iPhone 11 series and all iPhones after this, iPhone 10R, iPhone 10S, etc. do not have its support. You will also get its support in the rest of the iPhone SE second generation. So before updating iPhones, you should know some important things. Like for the safety of your data, it will be better if you take a backup. By the way, I always update here without taking a backup. No issue comes, but still it will be good if you take a backup for backup. So you can take a backup of your iPhone simply through IT on a computer or Mac. Next, apart from this, you get iCloud storage in iPhones, but its limitation is up to 5 gigabytes. So that is why after going to journal in iPhone, then transfer and reset iPhone, get started. Here you get iCloud storage for 21 days, that too unlimited, so you can take backup here through this, it is very easy, just click on continue and move all app data with iCloud, backup is done by clicking on this, try not to update the phone at the time of charging because the phone gets heated more at that time, and charge the phone's battery at least 50% beforehand, now how does iOS 26 run especially in old phones, like I have already been testing it in iPhone 11 for a long time, along with this, it's performance battery life, so I have been testing it in beta version iPhone 6 since the beginning, so I will tell you everything quickly at the end of the video. But now I am going to tell you all the new features of iOS 26 and I guarantee that after watching this video you will not need to watch any other video for features new things. So make sure to watch this video till the end. So first of all let's come to the lock screen. Here you get to see the biggest change is the way the text is showing here because of the liquid glass design. So as soon as you click on customize on the lock screen, so here you will be able to see that you get to see this clock widget. You can extend it as much as you want. You can reduce or increase its size. Now here we are doing this thing manually. But according to any wallpaper here it automatically takes shape. After this, as soon as I add any widget to the lock screen. For example, I added the battery widget. Click on customize. So I can simply position this widget up or down in this way, which was not possible earlier in iOS 18. By the way, the animation of sliding is also very smooth. Now suppose I add any new wallpaper on the lock screen. For example, I add this wallpaper. So all the magic is hidden in this icon. I click on it. And this is basically a special scene. So here we set this wallpaper. So here you will see that you will get a completely 3D look of this wallpaper. And it really looks very realistic. Along with this, you will see that the clock widget above is also popping out from the background. It looks very 3D. So in this way you can put any wallpaper here in the form of a special scene. You will notice one more thing. The wallpaper is placed here. But as I slide here in this way. The notification has come here, so how smoothly the background has automatically dimmed here so that I can read the notifications here properly. In some way because here you already get to see liquid glass design everywhere. So Apple has designed this thing very smartly. It looks very good. After this, as soon as you come to the home screen, so here you will see that the unlocking animation has also changed a bit. Like after unlocking, the way the icons come on the screen very smoothly. Now the icons here have been totally redone. Like I compare with iOS 18, then these are looking quite different. Along with this, you will get to see a reflection in moving the phone here in this way, which gives it a very 3D look. The customization of the home screen has also changed a lot. Press and hold then edit goes to customize. So here you get default, dark and tinted like before. But a new option is available of clear in which you will get completely transparent icons here. And here also there are three options, light, dark and auto. So in the dark one, the icons here will become a little dark. In the light one, they look completely transparent here. Apart from the rest, there is another new option in tinted in case if you have Apple's official case. So it will automatically detect the color of the case through Max etc. And the icons of the same color will be here. Now because this update is basically based on liquid glass design. So you will get to see liquid glass design everywhere. And actually Apple has implemented it very well. If you look at the back, you will see a reflection of whatever things are visible. And there is decent transparency. You will also get visibility. Along with this, a slight blur is also visible. So as you guys update your iPhones, what kind of experience are you getting with it? Do tell in the comment section. Now in the beginning, the control center was quite messy. Meaning you were getting full transparency right away. But Apple has finally fixed this here till the stable version. Now you get good visibility here. Whether we talk about light mode or dark mode. You get a little transparency here. But along with this, you also get a good amount of blur for its visibility. Like you can see this in this wallpaper as well. All the other small things have also changed. Like here I press and hold on the settings. So in this way you will get the transparency effect here. And by sliding in this way, you will see a very good effect is visible here. Now the overall animations here have definitely changed. 
like the animation of closing and opening any application will appear to you more quick and in a slightly different style than before. And along with this, here you will get a very bouncy effect in the control center. Like if I scroll normally, I scroll hard in this way. So there will be more bounce here. One very good thing Apple has done is the back gesture. Like earlier we had to swipe from the extreme left in this way to go back in settings or any application. But now here you can swipe from any part of the screen from the middle in fact from the right in this way. So using specially big phones has become very easy here. You can operate with one hand, you can go back to anything. Now the phone application has changed a lot. A lot of good new features have come in it. Like first of all you will see here that it has been totally redesigned. It looks quite different from before. Now you have been getting to see this look simply for a long time. But by clicking here, like I click on unified here. So here you will see recents along with favorites in fact if there are any voicemails etc they will also be shown at one place. And obviously everywhere you get to see the liquid glass design. Here you also get to see the option of unknown callers separately. All the unknown callers will be automatically listed in the same category. One thing is very good. After clicking on the I button of any contact, as soon as you click here in the call history. So you will see the complete history here. Like when and for how long did you talk, missed calls etc everything. Next, after going to the phone in the settings, you get multiple new options here. Like hold assist, detection, screen unknown callers and call filtering, you have to turn it on here. In hold assist, basically whenever your call will be put on hold and you want me not to wait much. So after turning it on during the call, basically here you can do anything in your phone. And the person you are talking to who put your call on hold will get a small notification. And as soon as the second person becomes available, your phone will notify you. Then you can simply go back to the call. After this the next screen is unknown callers. In this basically whenever an unknown number calls you, if you tick on ask reason for calling. Then in this case before your phone rings, your phone will ask them for information, like their name, reason for calling and there will be a computerized voice. And then after that it will be shown on the display. This kind of person, his name is this, wants to call you. And if you accept, only then your phone will ring. Otherwise you can simply decline it beforehand. And here also there are three options. Never ask reason for calling in silence. So you can set it according to your convenience. Another big feature is live translation. Like if you are talking to a person and he is talking to you in some other language, then in that case your phone will directly translate live and tell you what that person is saying in your language. But for live translation you should have those phones which have AI support, like iPhone 15 Pro series, iPhone 16 or 17 series. After this, there have been many big changes in the next message application as well. So here you can set custom backgrounds for individual chats. In this way in different colors which look very good. In fact, with this, you can also create wallpaper here with the help of Image Playground. But obviously your phone should have AI for this. Like I have set a wallpaper here which is a live wallpaper. That looks pretty cool. And small things look very good here. Let me tap on it. So in this way a light like effect has come here. And sliding here, its UI looks very good. Here you also get the option of poll. You can simply create a poll from here. Like I have created your favorite iPhone iPhone 131415 here on which we can answer by simply clicking here in this way. Copying paste has become easy here. You have to simply press and hold. After that select, from here you can select any part of the entire text in this way. And like the phone, here also you will get to see separate categories of both unknown senders and spam. You can also manage this by going to manage filtering. Now you also turn it on in case. After that, whatever time sensitive notifications are there, like food delivery applications etc, then their pop-ups will be shown to you here. Even then like here I've filtered it. So in unknown senders, I am getting so many messages here. And I click on spam. So currently there is no message here. But whatever is there, it will be shown here separately. Like other phones, here you get the feature of live translation. But similarly here also there should be 15 Pro and later models. And in live translation, basically whatever communication is happening here, it will translate it live in your language. Here you get all new battery settings. Like we go to the battery section in settings. It shows in a very advanced way. How are you using your phone as compared to the past? Like here it is showing that usually I am using the phone more than 11.38 am, which means that yes, it is true. And the rest, how much battery is draining from all the applications individually is shown here. Like WhatsApp on screen for 20 minutes. And you can also see it in view all battery usage. Here it will show you everything in a very good way. During charging, it will show you the time on the lock screen. How much time will it take for your phone to charge? There is Apple intelligence in engine devices. You get to see power mode in it. And here there is optional power. As soon as you turn it on, 
In that case your phone will automatically detect it according to the usage of your phone, and it will make performance adjustments to extend the battery life, reduce the brightness of the black display. It will delay all the unnecessary tasks. Along with this, after 20% battery is there, it will automatically apply the power mode. After this, you also get many new features in music. The first feature is auto mix. So basically after going from one song to another, it automatically makes the transition very smooth by matching their beads. And you get a kind of DJ effect here. So I liked it a lot. And the songs do not change suddenly. They happen very smoothly. After this, next you will see that here also you will get a completely different look. Because of the liquid glass design. Now if anything is playing, then here you will get to see the entire album art on the lock screen in this way. Rest you can also simply minimize it by tapping it. Rest you will see how buttery smooth its animation is. And here you get many amazing features. Like lyrics translation, lyrics pronunciation. So whatever songs are in other languages, they will automatically be translated in lyrics translation. Whereas lyrics pronunciation will help that you can pronounce the lyrics in any other language. And whenever you are using your iPhone with Apple TV. And especially the feature of syncing Apple Music. So in that case you will be able to use your iPhone as a mic. Now in Safari. You get to see the all new compact tab view here. It looks very good. You get the experience of full screen web browsing here. Because of this, as soon as I scroll here, it gets minimized here. And in this small tab view also you are getting to see the transparency effect here because of the liquid glass design. It has become a little opaque for its good visibility. And in any dark section, it becomes dark here automatically. But in case you want to extend it again, then you have that option too. You have to go to the settings in Safari. After going to the tabs, it is compact by default. So here you can do it at the bottom or at the top. After clicking on the bottom, it will be like this. So you have all the options available here. It is not completely compact now. Apart from this, its execution is still very good. Even after increasing its size, no one will hamper you in visibility here. Now suppose if you want to add any website on the home page as a link, then for that also a very good addition like we add this website, add to home screen. So here you will see open as web app. This is a new feature. So like I add it. Now finally it will open in the form of an application here. Not just a page of Safari. So here I'm not seeing any address bar etc. It has just been converted into the form of an application. Apart from this, after this update, you get the support of HDR image in Safari. Along with this, not just private tab in normal web pages also. In this also you will get better security, better safety and tracking prevention. The photos app has also been completely redesigned here. Library and collection are two different tabs here. And in iOS 18, things got mixed up somewhere. So after going to the library, all the photos and videos will be shown here. You will find different categories in the sections. You can obviously convert any other photo into a special scene here. Just with a single tap and here it is. It has been converted. So, here you are getting a completely 3D effect in this photo. Now you can convert any photo with this. And it is not necessary that there should be a human subject there. Like this photo, let's convert it. So now here you will see that you will get to see a completely 3D effect in this too. In the rest of the photo application, finally here in the search you will also get to see video thumbnails. Next let's talk about the camera. So this too has been totally red. Here the new camera design is being shown in a pop-up. So for different zooming options, you will see toggles here in this manner. 5-1x, 2x, 5x. So things are basically the same but here they have been minimized a little. If you look above, you will see different formats here. Here itself, hike raw 24 megapixels, 48 megapixels and by swiping from bottom to top, you will see the different options here. Flash life timer, exposure styles, aspect ratio and by swiping left and right from here, you will find all the things that you used to see earlier as it is. But normally they remain hidden here. Now they have done a very good thing here for videos. Like we click here. All the formats, frame rates, resolutions, everything gets displayed here. And earlier you had to tap one by one. If you tap on 4K, then HD will be at 60. After that 2530 but because it expands here, you can quickly select here. And with this, if you have AirPDS 4 and AirPDS Pro 2nd generation, then by pressing and holding their stem, you can capture photos and videos here. Like other phone applications, you will also get to see features like live translation and call screening in FaceTime. So suppose if you are making a FaceTime video call with someone and the language is something else. So there you will get to see live translation of that language and it will be shown on your display. So you will be able to easily understand what they are saying. And with this, the way spam is found in the phone and message application, go to manage filtering. So from here we will simply turn on filtering. So now along with spam, you will also get to see unknown callers in FaceTime. Here's the all new games application in which all the games etc that you get on the app store will be shown. Along with this, games of this category will also be shown in Apple Arcade. And especially this application becomes helpful. Those who multiplay more, play games with their friends. So after going to friends, you can challenge your friends and with this you will be shown proper score etc. Here, and in this way, you will be shown complete profile etc.
greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you found the information helpful or entertaining, I encourage you to share it with your friends and family. It's a great way to spread the knowledge and help others discover the amazing world of technology. If you enjoyed what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and lets me know that you want to see more content like this. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way, you'll be the first to know whenever I upload new videos packed with insights, tips, and the latest trends in tech. Now, for those of you curious about the products I showcase today, you can find all the links in the description below. I've made it super easy for you to explore and purchase the items that caught your eye. For my friends in the USA, be sure to use the international affiliate link provided. And for my viewers in India, I've included a direct link just for you. It's